And we're back. We're black. And this is, we're here for our final seg- segment with uh, Clint Fuquay. And uh, I can't hear myself, Jimmy. I'm on? I yep. might not yep. hear You're myself. On. I can hear you. Well, we can hear you. I can hear you. You're coming in live. I'm not clued in. As well. Look at this. <laughs> the conference. <laughs> okay. We're going to start this again. This is live, remember? Okay, here we go. Okay. And we're back. We're back, and we're back with Clint Fuquay. He's our personal trainer, health czar, and personal. Uh, what did we, we, no, no czar. We're not in Russia. We're well, not in Russia. I'm well, you know what? I, you're no an expert czars. compared to all of us. He keeps us all healthy, and and how to how to keep from going to the doctors much, and how to stay, which also computes to keeping your health care insurance down. Oh so. yes, because those costs way, way, way down. Way down. And you can get a hold of him and get his information at www.clintfuquay, and that is F-U-Q-U-A yep. dot com. Welcome back to the show. Yep, good to be back. Uh, Personal Health Care Reform Talk Show, episode number three. And for all the movie all the movie fans out there, we're in 3D this time. Check that out. <laughs> so uh, if you have the funky glasses on, you're probably freaking out at this point. Uh, and to, to speak of the, about the movies, I'm going to trail off into something. I got my first piece of fan mail. All oh, right. So, uh, Red Suzanne, whoever you are, I want to <laughs> thank you very, very much for that package you sent me. Uh, it was fantastic. I have my entertainment for this weekend. Um, <laughs> and uh, it was a movie I, I actually haven't get, I didn't get to see it in theaters, and I get to see it uh, at my place this weekend. So thank you very much for that. That's fantastic. Hey, uh, that's nice. That. You so, got yeah, you, you, you say you love redheads one time, and they start sending you presents. Oh, that was nice. wow. Um, <laughs> So I uh, wanted to do a shout-out to you, Suzanne. Thank you for that. That was fantastic. Um, and uh, also, I've got my friends. If if you're in the South Arlington or Kennedale area, uh, there's a nutrition store over there called Better Health. Uh, they just had a grand opening for their sports supplement area in there. And also, they do uh, uh, hormone-free beef. And it's hormone-free, ga- grass-fed, uh, fantastic stuff. I've, I've had it myself. Incredible beef. It's better than what you'll get at any restaurant in Dallas. Um, so my friends out there. Hi guys, and Jeff and Jeff and Noel. I used to work with them years ago. Uh, very good guys, very smart guys. I've learned a lot from those guys. Um, and moving on from there, uh, we're going to do health in the news. So we're going to be going from the uh, personal journal and the Wall Street Journal. Writing happily oh, ever yes. after. Yeah, actually, we're not going to do that story. <laughs> that is that is, if you do read that, if you are married, uh, that was, was a right, a, right yeah, way to that argue. Was a right way and wrong way. That was a fantastic <laughs> article. Um, no, we're actually going to do uh, this oh, one right here. Oh, peanut butter, my favorite food. <laughs> yeah, nutritionist. peanut butter. Actually, this is the, uh, the nutri- your new nutritionist, the grocer. Uh, basically, what they're talking about in here is the new valve system. Oh. For, uh, basically, it's for nutrient value in foods. So there's a scale that goes from 1 to 100. Uh, 1 means there's zero value in it. 100 means there's absolutely the most value that you can get nutritionally in a piece of food. Wow. Um, that way, you, you know, you're going through the aisles. Most people don't like turning turning around and reading the labels. I love reading labels. I will read labels all day long. I will teach people how to read labels because there's lots of funny stuff going on with those. But um, it gives you a basic idea of how healthy is this food. And item. what does it give you, the vitamins or just no, no, a, it's a rating? They, they, they actually, they have an algorithm set up for this. It looks at uh, uh, fat, protein, carbohydrate, sodium, uh, cholesterol content, uh, and they've got a couple few other things factored in there. But wow. they, they add all these things cool, up, cool. and it comes out with, you know, this is the nutrition value of this food. Well, I bet you corporate America didn't like that. No, they do not <laughs> like this at all. In fact, they talk about that in, in the article. Uh, there's some, some companies that are somewhat protesting this because none of the companies see this before it comes out. It goes straight to the grocers. The grocers put it out on, on, on the shelves, and the companies don't get to see this until it comes out, and then they freak out, and they're it's like, It's not profitable. Our yeah. stuff is yeah. good, man. Look, good we, we have some whole wheat yeah. in here. We have some whole wheat. <laughs> yeah, you, you have that much whole wheat in there. Um, yeah. Uh, so and there's nothing wrong with Twinkies, but you ought to know that what you're doing when you eat them. There's everything wrong with Twinkies. <laughs> 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 Sorry for the Twinkie yeah. lovers out there. There's everything wrong with Twinkies. Those. Um, they will outlast us all. Yeah, they may <laughs> outlast the cockroaches. Yeah. I don't know. So you can't have a Twinkie a day prescription, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So I uh, wanted to talk about that one. Uh, it's actually put out by the uh, the Griffin Hospital in Derby, Connecticut. Is actually the hospital that put this together. Um, I think that's wonderful. Fantastic yeah. system. And the government finally found something that was useful. Actually, this, this is not this, this, this was the not government. This is not of the government. Of course, yeah. It's not? This is no. not government sanctioned. This has nothing to do with the government at all. And this is actually a hospital that decided to do something for the public. 
and they actually set set the standard up. Wow. So yeah, not governmental action. Imagine that. Yeah. Um, so um, anyway, so fantastic stuff. Uh, look them up. Look up uh, Griffin Hospital, Derby, Connecticut, if you want to find out everything on that, or go to the Wall Street Journal. And so when, uh, and yeah, when you're looking at like yeah. bands of peanut butter, you can tell which ones really are the because I yeah. bet there are issues with them too. Oh, yeah, 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 and yeah. it's it goes across the board. Uh, right now, Kroger. Uh, Kroger, Safeway, Whole Foods are the three main companies that are, Safeway that are doing is that. Not, Safeway is something else. Uh, Tom Thumb here, Tom in, Thumb, here yeah. in Dallas is Safeway. So mm -hmm. uh, those three those three chains are actually latching onto this, the utilizing that. Uh, in fact, I think Whole Foods was the first one to really start utilizing it. And the sales have actually gone up tremendously with this. Oh, people uh, eat more. It yeah. makes it foods. so much easier, yeah. 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 too. Yeah. Much easier, because you know. you're not having to turn around free labels right. unless you're like me and you're when you're in a rush. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> but I already know what I'm getting, so that's yeah. not a big issue. Um, the other thing is um, uh, the Alliance of Nat Natural Health. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's been coming up, uh, coming out about uh, proton pump inhibitors. Uh, the PPIs basically. If you have, uh, well, basically looking at Polisec, Nexium, the little purple pill, all that stuff. Uh, if you have stomach acid, stomach indi indigestion, that's what these are, uh, causing major issues with bone health and immune function. Wait a minute. Pepsid? That type of yeah, stuff? Yeah, Pepsid, AC, Tums? all those. Yeah. The over-the-counter. Not the Tums. The Tums is completely different. Um, but all, all these things are prescription. Um, that are now over-the-counter. Yeah. Uh, Prolisec is now over-the-counter. Uh, Nexium is the, is, the is the new prescription version. Uh, but they're but, finding uh, problems with it. They're finding major problems with them with bone health. Uh, so if you are female and you're taking these, uh, start getting your bones checked. Uh, every year, go get wow. a DEXA scan if you can, uh, because it does actually... Uh, negatively affect bone health and wow. and immune function too, uh, because your body cannot produce acid to break down foods, which means you cannot digest them properly, which means malabsorption and everything else. Yeah, so it, adds, it contributes to other yeah. health problems. Yeah, uh, a quick way, quick and easy way around this. Uh, they won't like this. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, if you get some betaine HCl, it's a B E T A I N HCl. It's a natural form of hydrochloric acid. You take this before you eat. Hydrochloric acid. Your, your stomach Sounds produces hydrochloric acid, <laughs> okay? okay? The problem most people have is they don't produce enough, and especially whenever you take these PPIs, your body does not produce any okay. because it shuts down production. Uh, this way you get the hydrochloric acid in. You can actually digest foods properly. You have that there, it actually, and it really does help out with uh, with uh, uh, heartburn, things like that. But so if you're taking that other to get with your doctor and yeah, try to find something else. Yeah, get with your doctor find something else. Um, and you know, if you're taking the Nexium, which is thirty dollars for a copay, Prolisec is thirteen fifty over the counter, and they're the same product. Okay, and it's called say it again. Um, the Nexium is the is the prescription. Uh, Prolisec is over the counter now. It used to be the prescription. Uh, basically, what happened is. Uh, but the thing that you're telling people to get the oh, yeah, is yeah, the, the betaine. The betaine is over betaine. the counter. Betaine. Yeah. How betaine. How many? It just depends on your body weight, how much you take, or. Uh, no, this it's all standardized. I mean, everybody's everybody, everybody puts it. But it's only when you yeah. get when you have problems with yeah. indigestion. Yeah, so okay. have problems before with you with eat, right? Yeah. Before you eat, you take <coughs> it. It's like taking digestive enzymes before you eat, okay. which I suggest everybody does that as well. Uh, this way, it helps actually helps out with breaking down the food. So, uh, there's those. Uh, for more information on the proton pump, uh, proton pump stuff, uh, go to A N H. Uh, dash usa.org and I'll actually have that on the blog. Go to my blog, go to clintfuquay.com after the show. We have a lot of information on there because I brought 10 pounds of information for a two pound show. So, <laughs> 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 um, so um, and actually, the betaine thing, since, since you know it's not just coming from me, this is actually coming from a doctor. It's doc recommended by Dr. Jonathan Wright. Uh, he's one of the foremost experts in the U.S. for uh, digestive issues. Uh, absolutely fantastic guy. Um, so, that way you know where that's coming from. It's not just coming from, from little old me over here. Uh, and if you want to find out more about him, you can go to uh, practicoshbooks.com. It's P-R-A-K-T-I-K-O-S-B-O-O-K-S.com. Uh, and they've got his book on there. 